Okay, people, we're back. We've got Sibongile on the line. Um, Sibongile, are you there? Hello. 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 How are you? I'm good, thank you. How are you? Fine. This is eerie. I've got you coming in from the corner of the studio <laughs> instead of my earpiece. But anyway. Okay. Okay. Sibongile, this question's yours from GDE. Yes. Yes. Where are you calling from, darling? I'm calling from Vereniging. Are you from Vereniging? Vereniging, gang, 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 gang. Yes. Yeah, okay. Here we go. Mm -hmm. All right. Adapted from the September 2011 GDE paper 2, question 2. And it says a student mm -hmm. didn't. Now, people, listen, you're going to get an investigation. Whether you are IEB, mm -hmm. whether you are National Natural Senior Certificate, whether you are Afrikaans IEB, it doesn't matter what exam you are writing. Somewhere mm -hmm. in paper 2, and in paper one, but in paper two, definitely you are going to get some other question that is going to be an investigation. Now, whenever you do an investigation, you always make sure you use the same um, whatever it is, beans, peas, um, wood lice, birds, baboons, whatever, <coughs> for the experiment yes. and the control. Okay? That's number one. Okay. Number two, you must always make sure that you are only testing one variable, not 25. So are you yes. testing the growth rate? Are you testing the length? Are you testing um, whatever? But you only test one thing. And it's that one thing that you omit in your control, always. Okay. And accuracy is king. Always be as accurate as possible. And then if you want your experiment to be even more accurate, you repeat it. And the more times you repeat it, you'll find that when you take an average, the more accurate your average will be. And that applies to every single experiment you are going to do. All right. So those mm -hmm. factors yes. that I've just gone through now. Okay. Sibongile, here we go. A student did an investigation on wood lice. I mean, how lovely. All we would ever want to do is play with wood lice. But anyway, here she goes. She takes the wood lice. She used two containers, A and B, which, except for the top, do not allow light, light to pass through. Ah, so immediately you take your little pen in your hand and you, aye, and you now make a, no, we don't want to, let's go for pink. Okay, light. Light is the big thing here. They are fine, A and B, except that they do not allow light to pass through. So clearly we're looking at something to do with light. The containers consisted of two chambers, X and Y. Alrighty, so now you can, without even seeing the picture, you can already form a mental picture in your brain about what they are going to be doing, as shown in the diagram below. So now we have a look and we have a little squiz and we say, okay, look at this. There's the experiment container A, and you've got this part is covered with black paper, which means it's all dark. And you've got a, a, a chamber Y. Here they put the little wood lice, all 10 of them, and everybody's happy. Okay, now we go back to our diagram. She set up the investigation by placing 10 wood lice inside chamber Y of, con of container A and covered chamber X with black paper. So this is dark. Okay. After 10 minutes, she removed the paper and recorded the positions of the wood lice. Okay. Now, Sibongile, common sense. Okay. Forget about this question. Just pure common sense. Where do we find wood lice? Si Are you there, Sibongile? Where would you find wood lice? Uh, the wood lice. I think you find it in, in the forest. I'm not sure. Yes, you'd find it in the forest in wood. Yes. It would be a tree that had fallen over, and the wood lice are part of your detritrites. They, 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 are, they, they break down food. Mm -hmm. Okay, yes. so they are going to be there, and they're part of your decomposing process. So your little wood lice would be in amongst the wood, and they'd make the wood rot at, so that the funguses and the algae and the bacteria and everything could get nutrients out of it. Okay, yes. so... Do you think that when those wood lice are in this trunk, there's lots of light? Sorry? 
when there's wood lice in the forest for this tree that's now fallen over, and mm -hmm. the little wood lice are inside that tree, is there mm -hmm. a lot of light? Yes. No, it's in the inside. Okay, it's going to be inside, it's going to be inside that, that trunk of wood as it's rotting. So the wood lice aren't things that like light. You don't find little wood lice dancing around and having a little circus in the light. They like nice, dark, warm, wet places. Okay, moist places at least. Okay, so she set up a control by putting 10 wood lice in a chamber X of container B and covered it with black paper. After 10 minutes, she removed the paper and recorded the position of the wood lice. The results are shown in the table. So what have we got here? This is covered in black paper, so it is dark. Okay, this is where the light is. Right, now she did exactly the same here. She set up the control by putting 10 wood lice in X. She didn't put them in Y. So in the experiment, she put them in chamber Y. In the control, she puts them in chamber X. She leaves them in the dark. Okay, now we have the results of the experiment. And we have the number of wood lice after 10 minutes. So she leaves them for 10 minutes so they can go to the side that they want to be. The experiment, okay, the number of wood lice after 10 minutes. In chamber X, there were nine. And in chamber Y, there was only one. So of these 10 here, nine of them cruised into chamber X, and we're left with one little doffy sitting here that probably couldn't find its way. If you left it for long enough, it would have found its way. But nine of them move into the dark. And if we look at the control, she put 10 of them in chamber X, and none of them moved into chamber Y. Okay, yeah. so state the hypothesis the student used for this investigation. Now remember, a hypothesis is a statement. And what, you are, what are you looking at here? Without anything fancy, what do you think this experiment is about? I think this experiment is about, uh, is about the wood light, uh, which, uh, how, how the wood, do not allow, wood light is not allowed to pass through the, the, the wood light, which, which is covered by the black paper. It's wood lights, whether they like dark or whether they like light. The light, the light, light, and the light. Okay, so now remember, you can either prove or disprove a hypothesis. A hypothesis is a theory that can be proved. So, for example, if I said girls are more intelligent than boys, okay, I know that the boys would have a fit. They'd say, what rubbish? And the girls would say, bring it on. Now, I can make that statement, and it's my opinion, unless I can prove it scientifically. Do you understand? And in order to prove it scientifically, I need to start with a statement. So I say girls are more intelligent than boys. And we do all kinds of tests, all right? And we do IQ tests, and we look at matric results, and we look at all kinds of things. And then I can sit and I can say, oh, whoa, hold on a minute. Girls did, on an average, got this. Boys, on an average, got this. It's the same. It actually depends on, on who works harder as an individual. You follow? And I can then either prove or disprove my hypothesis. And I'll probably end up disproving it and saying there is no difference between girls and boys and their intelligence. You follow? Although us girls know we're more intelligent. Hey. Hey, Sipongile. All right, so if we state the hypothesis the student used for this investigation, the hypothesis is going to be what? Wood lice? Wood lice um, prefer to live in the dark. Okay? Yes. Or you could say wood lice prefer to live in the light. If you say dark, we are going to prove it. You understand? If you say light, we are going to disprove the hypothesis. Because wood lice don't prefer to live in the light. Look here. 
Where did they all go? They all went to chamber X, which is in the dark. You follow? Okay, so just remember that when you write the hypothesis, look at what your results are. So you can simply, just put it simply, wood lice prefer to live in the dark, wood lice prefer to live in the light. The number of wood lice after 10 minutes, that were, um, and that, remember, is your result. Mm -hmm. So don't use that as part of your hypothesis. Okay, just look at it and say, what are we looking at here? We're looking at wood lice and whether they are in the dark or in the light, period. That's it. End of story. Make it as simple as possible and then you'll get your marks. Explain why container yeah. B is the control. Because the wood lice... Hello? Hello? Because wood Hello. lice are placed in the dark side. Or you can say inside, and I've forgotten which side it was, inside X. Okay, then question 3.3.3. Um, what can you conclude about the hypothesis from the results obtained? Okay, is that the hypothesis, now, this depends on which hypothesis you wrote. If you said, would lice prefer to live in the dark, then you yeah. have... You've proved. Oh, man. Uh, can you believe that I can't spell proved? Um, you have proved the hypothesis because the wood lice moved to the side X in the experiment okay you with me mm -hmm. okay and then we yeah. look at three 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 four state one way in which the and here we go the, and they will always this question here whether it doesn't matter what exam papers you are writing at the end of the year they will give you an investigation that you can be sure of in each of your papers, number one. And number two, they will ask this question of you. State one way, two ways, three ways, three manners, three, three methods, whatever. But they will always ask you how you are going to improve the reliability of the investigation. And, and that is what you must think about when you look at your investigation. So how would you improve the reliability of this investigation? Here. How would you improve the reliability? Come, I told you when we started. They only want one way. Um, I think if, if we could um, place, place uh, the, the wood lights in, in light, both of both of bonds and in, in light. Okay. Look. 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 Do you remember when we started Sibongile? I said to you, mm. any experiment and any investigation, because if they can either call it an experiment or an investigation, that you are given in an exam, all right? They will always ask you, how do you make it more reliable? How do you make it more reliable? By repeating it, okay? So mm -hmm. you would repeat it. Um, Another one that you could, if they asked you to give two reasons, you could have said that the wood lice that we used in the experiment, the 20 wood lice that we used, those 20 wood lice came from the same tree or the same source, which means that yeah. genetically they would be pretty similar. So they should react in a similar way. You follow? Um, yeah, so that would be another way of doing it. But whenever you want to improve the reliability of your experiment, you always repeat it. And you repeat it and you repeat it and you repeat it until you're getting exactly the same results. And then you get an average of your results. You follow? So yeah. reliability is always improved by repeating something. Okay. Thank you. Have you got a boyfriend? Uh, yes. Okay. How do you know your boyfriend cares about you? 
I don't send know if you cares about this. Exactly. When he sends you nice SMSs, all right, and when uh, he visits you, he yes. brings you flowers, and he tells you how beautiful you look. So what yes. is he doing? He is, look at this, he's improving yes. his reliability. He's repeating yes. the same action by telling you he likes you or he loves you. He sends you pretty flowers. He sends you pretty pictures. He sends you nice messages. When he stops doing that, what do you know? Uh, that he stops caring about me. Exactly. So then we have a problem. But how does yes. he improve reliability? He repeats the same things over and over again. He does the same actions over and over again. You follow? It's exactly the same here. Now, how is that? You see, when I said to you, when we started, I said to you, life science is what you have all around you. You can always take life science and equate it to something that's going on around you. So, how do we test the reliability of an experiment or an investigation? We, and improve it, we repeat the experiment. All right. Easiest one yeah. to remember. Okay, Sibongile, well, that's that one. Um, we are going to go to the studio for an ad break, and then we, I think we're into our last 15 or 20 minutes. Um, we've still got plenty of questions, but if you have any others, send them through and we, we'll deal with them, all right, as best as we can. See you in a minute.